iPhone users in Australia, the satellite emergency feature is now available here and in New Zealand. And this is a groundbreaking technology. Let me explain how it works. Now, basically, the iPhone 14 is equipped with an extra antenna and it can communicate with satellites. I know it sounds crazy, but it is a genuine technology which is now active in Australia and New Zealand and launched in several countries, America and others, in November last year. So we know it works and we can show you how it works now. Importantly, you only need an iPhone 14, any of the family from the iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, they all do this. But you do need an iPhone 14 and you need the latest iOS, iOS 6.4 or whatever it is. But it doesn't require any additional hardware. You don't need to carry a satellite phone with you. You don't need an EPIRB. This is all about what is built into your phone when you go hiking, trekking, four-wheel driving, mountain biking, whatever it might be, to ensure that you can reach emergency services where there is zero cell or mobile service. So at the moment, if you're hiking and you're on an Optus network and there's no network coverage, but there is Telstra signal, you can dial triple zero because it will use the Telstra tower. The networks work together like that. But if you're in a genuinely zero coverage area, there is no way of getting a triple O call out to emergency services. But with Apple's SOS emergency via satellite, here's how it works. You dial triple zero and your phone immediately realizes there's no mobile coverage, so you get a little satellite notification in the top corner. That's your first indication that you're, firstly, out of mobile coverage, and secondly, available to make an emergency SOS call. But what happens is it's not a phone call. You initiate an emergency SOS request, and it's essentially a very quick triage. On the screen, there's multiple options. Are you lost? Are you injured? Have you been in a crash? And it asks you two or three questions, not a lot, just to basically narrow down what's happened and what's wrong and what you need. Now, what happens is it actually sends and then it shows you on the screen, at the top of the screen, it shows you a little notification of where to point your phone. So you actually move around to try and find the satellite and you'll need to move with the satellite. Satellites are moving fast. So you'll need to move with the satellite and it'll send off that information. Essentially, it's a data connection, sending small amount of data out to the satellite, back down to uh, communication centers here on Earth. Now, in some countries, it may be that their triple O services, their emergency services, actually can deal with direct text input. In Australia, for the most part, basically what Apple's doing is receiving that information and then relaying it to triple O um, emergency services. And what it does is it sends it all off, sends information about you, where you are, it's got your geolocation from GPS as well, and it sends that information off. And then it starts a secure text chat. And the other thing it does is it notifies your emergency contacts. So in your medical ID on your iPhone, you can nominate multiple emergency contacts. It will also let them know. And what they see is a real time duplicate copy of the conversation you're having with emergency services. They can't interact, they can't, they can't text you, but they can see what you're saying to emergency services. And that chat with emergency services might last a minute or two. It might be a few back and forth messages, but essentially it will narrow down what you need and let you know that emergency services are on their way. It's amazing. And that means that if you're trekking in the Blue Mountains, if you're on the Udnadatta track doing four-wheel driving, or you just happen to have come to a place where there's zero mobile service, you can get emergency services help. And it all works also with Apple's crash detection and fall detection. So if you have a car crash in the middle of nowhere and your iPhone 14 detects that, and you don't respond to the prompts on the screen that say, are you okay? It will actually use the satellite service to send off an emergency uh, SOS on your behalf. Now, if you're trekking, four wheel driving in the great outdoors and you don't have an emergency, but let's say you just it's taking you longer to get where you want it to go. You can actually let people know where you are on the Find My app. So once every 15 minutes at most, you can send an updated location via a emergency SOS satellite. So basically in the Find My app, you can send your location, update your location, and that may your family know where you are. And essentially, if your family see that you're moving, they'll know that you're okay. That's the only way you can communicate with your family. So the satellite communication now allows you to communicate directly with emergency SOS, triple O, and let your family know where you are. It works 
on iPhone 14. It's free for two years. There's no talk of what's going to happen after two years, but I can only imagine with the competitiveness that's happening in the mobile phone and satellite market that this is going to be a very competitive space. Uh, and I don't see it being an expensive thing to keep in touch and get emergency help when you need it. All available on the iPhone 14. All the details at EFTM.com.